What I've got now, I've done the, the zip that's just sewn in place and eventually the facing will get sewn on that. But um, what we're going to do next is we're going to sew the shoulder seams and then we're going to sew our rib around the neck. So the shoulder seams, just one centimeter seams. I've changed my, uh, my foot back to a, a regular, regular sewing foot, taken away the uh, the zipper foot. And always remember when you're when you're working with seams that are, are different shapes that we're stitching on the stitch line. So we're not going to line this corner up with this corner. We actually need to line the pieces up one centimeter down on the stitch line. We do have one centimeter seam allowance around this neck which is helpful, but if you had 0.6, you know, by not lining those ends up, you're really um, not helping yourself. Okay, so I'm not going to iron these just yet. I can push them open by hand. Um, so what we've got here is this, this, the rib comes to a point at the, at the, uh, at the center front, and that's because like when you sew it on at one centimeter, it's going to come in so it goes back to nothing just above the zip there. So we're just going to get started here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit the, the point against the corner there, that little corner bit, sit that together, position it at one centimeter a little tack to hold it in place and what we have to do is we have to pull this rib around till it matches the shoulder seam and you can see you know that really pulls quite easily around that curve that's a one centimeter seam allowance And just before we get to the shoulder, because I was lazy and didn't press the shoulder open, I now have to make sure that it, it does actually go open. And all that does is reduce the bulk uh, around, the, um, around the neckline. Again, very important that you have notches on your rib piece. Opening up that shoulder seam there. What you might need to do here as we work towards our other center front is position the rib in place and maybe just pop a pin in there so you don't have to hold it completely in place while you're doing around the, the neckline. Well you don't have to think about where it's being held in place because it's pinned in the right place. So there's our rib. And you can see, see how it's slightly pulling in around the neck there? Um, and that'll flatten out. It won't be so, um, so gathery um, once you've got the lining fabric in there and once you've given it a good press as well. But you can see how it, it's bigger here and then it gets smaller towards the top edge, which is how rib works.